when I think about what is possible, I wake up every day and I'm asking myself, I don't know how long I have, but for every breath that's in me, I want to be able to leave a legacy of change. Thank you so much. We had a veteran who said to us, and this is one of, my, one of the things that really touched me. He said, you know, I, I spent my time in Afghanistan and living in Milwaukee, in inner city Milwaukee, it's like being deployed in Afghanistan. The difference is I don't get hazard pay. We have a model that we've put together and it all comes down to chronic stress. They, so when we ask people what's happening in your environment, what are the challenges, what are the barriers? Same old issues, transportation, unemployment, discrimination, gun violence, emotional and psychological trauma. They don't even talk about the diabetes and the hypertension, that's like secondary. They're saying my very existence every day is really challenging. All of those factors lead to chronic stress. And the chronic stress then leads to disease, disease leads to disability, and disability leads to a loss of social capital. Because at the end of it all, the individual who is sick cannot contribute to the economy, and that is impacting the economic base of that environment. I believe that solutions lie with the people. They live that life every day. Come Alive is essentially a program that is designed to target those 10 zip codes we've identified as highly African-American population, where we can actually invest resources from multiple areas to actually address the social determinants of health. I'm not naive to imagine that you know, in the next two or three years, everything will change. We're talking about long-term investment, very hard work, slow but progressive movement, and eventually the needle will move in the right direction.